is upgrading from an H115i to a Noctua uh, NHD15 CPU cooler. Now, I think that the H115i that I had was a faulty model because it would run up to 100 degrees, I wasn't able to overclock, and sometimes I get a blue screen. And with the new NHD15, I am able to basically run it at uh, overclocked settings, up the voltages, um, and the temperatures never really go above 60 or 70 degrees. So I figured I'd create a video, kind of benchmark and go through the two of them, and you can kind of see um, what the difference is. That'll be interesting. So the first thing that I did, naturally, was I ran Firestrike uh, Ultra Test. Now there's four different modes that I had to benchmark. So with the H115i, it came with three different modes. So it came with a quiet fan mode, a balance fan mode, and a performance fan mode. Um, so I'm going to play those three for you in a second, and you can hear the difference. So the physics score uh, with Firestrike. So one thing to note about all these benchmarks is actually some of the temperatures, some of the, or not the temperatures, but some of the scores are a bit of a wash. So um, they're not really reflective to real life performance because I've run them multiple times, got different results. First one is the physics score. So with the physics score, we're looking at uh, basically around the same performance. So the performance with the H115i was the best performer. Of course, it's within the margin of error. Um, the balance performed fairly poorly, but on each average run, it kind of evened out. And the quiet H115i was just, just a little bit worse there. Then we got to FPS, exact same performance. When we look at the combined score, we found that the balance and uh, the performance actually beat out on new Noctua. Again, I tried it over and over and it kind of just evened out. Um, one thing to note about the Noctua is it actually doesn't increase or decrease the performance. It increases in, or it decreases the CPU temperature and max temperature, which in turn provides more stability for a longer period of time. Then we've also got, uh, so the CPU max temperature, this is the important one. So when it comes to the CPU max temperature, the Noctua NHDA15 never went above like 56 degrees. And the performance H159, it was insanely loud. It never went over 75, the balance and the quiet. There's a difference in sound, but not really different in temperatures. The average temperatures tell the same story. They kind of just evened out. Then we get to Blender's BMW Render Bench. Noctua NHD15 was a little bit faster. I think that that's due to uh, staying cooler because the H115i was basically at 100 degrees um, at some points, not the whole time. So that was pretty nasty and the balanced and the quiet just I couldn't let my CPU run at 100 degrees for like eight minutes. When you look at the CPU's max temperature, the NHD15 uh, was around 78 degrees, 75 degrees, while the other ones were just, they just capped at 100. The average temperature again, performance was like 98 to 100, which is terrible. Then I tried a game, so I tried The Witcher 3. And with The Witcher 3, uh, they all ran at the exact same, which is implied because none of them were really thermal throttling but the NHD 15 was running at about 53 FPS the performance was might I remind you that the performance one is loud as hell and that was running about 56 degrees and the balance and the quiet they're above 70 degrees they're just performing terribly basically over and all uh, what to take out of this video I know it's a short video pretty sloppily put together but I thought it'd be something to do I haven't posted a video in three months is Take a look at your CPU cooler, you know, try reseeding it, try swapping out the thermal paste, maybe you can get better temps, uh, maybe swap out a different CPU cooler and see what you can get because I paid about 125 Canadian dollars and I went from overheating to getting a better performance and I actually think the cooler looks nicer and it's definitely quieter. So that wraps it up for this video, again I apologize it was very short, I'm going to try and get back on the track of publishing Blender tutorials, um, but that's going to be coming in hopefully the next few weeks. All right, see ya.